Hello viewers. Welcome to the second part of the video for the song Thalaattu Maari Ponadhe from Unnai Naan Sandithen. If you would like to view the chords cover for the song, please see part one video link in the description below. In the second part, we are going to see the scale, the chords, the strumming pattern and the time signature. If you would like to view the complete chords for the song in both original version and the transposed version, please see the description below. The beauty of this song is, in some of the lines in Pallavi and Charanam, the chord for the next word begins at the end of the previous word. If you want to represent these chords in a sheet music, the chord for the next word would begin at the end of the previous bar. That is the brilliance of Raja sir. To identify these chords, I have given these chords just before the three dots at the end of the word in the video description. On top of that, this song has got beautiful bass lines throughout the song and the guitar chords are clearly heard throughout the song wonderfully. In particular, please listen to the beautiful bass line in the beginning of second interlude where the bass and flute talk to each other. Simply amazing. The scale of this song is originally in B flat minor. In order to make it easier for the beginners, I have transposed this to A minor scale. So please place your capo on the first fret. And the time signature is 4-4. Four, four. Now we will see the strumming pattern that I have used in my part 1 video cover. It goes like this. Slow, down, down, up, down. Super slow, down, down, up, down. With the actual tempo of the song. So that is the strumming pattern. We will now see the list of chords used in this song in the transposed version. The first chord is A minor. The next chord is G major. The next chord is C major. The next chord is D minor. The next chord is F major. So these are the chords used in this song. We will now see Pallavi chords line by line. For the first line, Thala Atu Mari Ponade. For Thala Atu, it is rest. When Janagema sings Mari, that is where the chord progression begins. So for Mari, it is A minor. Ponade, we have two chords. Pona is G major, De is A minor. And for the next line, Yen Kannil Tukam Ponade. For Yen Kannil Tukam, it is A minor from the previous word. Ponade, same as the first line. Pona is G major, De is A minor. So these two lines. Talat Mari Ponade Yen Kannil now we will see the next three lines. Pen Puve Vandadu. Pen Puve is A minor from the previous word. When you finish Ve, immediately you strike C major. So these are the lines I mentioned previously where the chord for the next word is played at the end of the previous word. Vandadu. Vandadu is C major. At the end of D, you play A minor immediately. And the next line, Yen Tholil Kanmood. Same as the previous line. Yen Tholil is A minor from the previous word. When you finish Lil, you play C major immediately. Kanmood is C major. After that D, you play G major immediately. So, these two lines, 
பெண் பூவே வந்தாடு என் தோளில் கண்மூடு த நெக்ஸ்ட் லைன் என் சொந்தம் நீ ஸோ ஃபார் என் சொந்தம் இட் இஸ் ஜி மேஜர் நீ வி ஹேவ் டூ கார்ட்ஸ் ஏ மைனர் அண்ட் சி மேஜர் அண்ட் ஏ மைனர் அகெயின் the placements are carefully written in the video description so please view it for easy playing so we will see en sondam ni en sondam ni so for en sondam is g major ni so we have ni then e e e e so ni e e is a minor the fourth e is c major the last e is a minor so the last line one more time en sondam ni goes to the first line talatte mari ponare en kannil thookam that is the end of pallavi chords now we will see pallavi chords with a slow tempo of the strumming talatte mari ponade en kanne thukam ponade pen puve van That's the end of Pallabi chords. Now we will look at Charanam chords. Pinmane Sendene is A minor. Yaar Enter Parkirai is D minor. The next line, Unsogam Enraagam is A minor. Similar to the first line of Charanam. And the fourth line of Charanam is similar to the second line. The only difference is, at the end of the fourth line, you play a G major immediately. So we will see, these four lines penmane sendene yaar endru paakira un sogam endra that is the first four lines of charanam the next four lines in charanam these are the lines i mentioned previously where the chord for the next word is played at the end of the previous word un annai nandane for un it is g major that you already played at the end of the previous word annai is c major after that nai in annai you play in f major nandane nan is f major that you played already dane is c major after that ne in dane you play a g major immediately en pillai ni dane en is g major pillai is c major and after that lai in pillai you play a f major chord ni dane ni is f major dane is c major after that ne in dane you play an a minor chord so these four lines un last two lines id podume could be tricky we will see it very slowly id you already played a minor at the end of the previous word podume podu is d minor me is a minor so in podume me it is a minor 
A, A, it is G major. The last A is A minor again. So these two lines very slowly. That is the end of charanam chords. We will now look at charanam chords with a slow tempo of the strumming. That is the end of Charanam chords. I hope you find this video tutorial easy to follow. Thank you for watching.